Hi there, and welcome to our March Real Estate Market Wrap, where we bring you real estate stories to make your life easier. The February market numbers are down below in the crawl, and there is a time index in the show notes. So let's get started. Welcome to this third edition of our monthly market wrap. Today we're in late March of 2020, and we have a few top real estate stories that may affect you and your real estate decisions. I'm Bradley Price. And I'm Darlene Price. And we're from Sonata Realty in Central California. The number one story in the news right now is the COVID-19 virus, also known as the coronavirus. We are in California, which is currently on lockdown, referred to as shelter in place. Life as we know it has been disrupted throughout the country and in fact, the world. The important thing is we get through it all and we will. Remember, there wasn't a shortage until everybody took way more than they needed. Usually a crisis brings everyone together, but for some reason, this time it became everyone for themselves. Now it's time to cooperate with one another and remember that the biggest weapon we have is social distancing to slow the spread of this virus. And if you have symptoms or know you have been exposed, please get checked out and stay home. Many aspects of real estate transactions can be performed without the need to be face-to-face. -face. And according to California's Governor Gavin Newsom's order, that is the way they will need to be done. Contracts can be done by e-signature online, property management and repair work required for health and safety issues is permissible under the governor's order. Currently, California is not recognizing the real estate industry as an essential activity, while other states are, so that may change. However, even made permissible, things need to be done differently. Viewing properties for sale in person currently would be a violation of the order. That being said, people are in a panic mode to both buy and sell, so people will look at houses, so at least keep your social distance and sanitize. Interest rates are low, with 30-year mortgages available for less than 4%. So long-term, it's still a good time to buy if you can manage to work around the virus. The same goes for selling. The low rates attract buyers out there, and there just isn't enough housing inventory in most parts of California to meet the demand. Video conferencing and e-signatures are definitely the way to do business, and if you're a buyer, be sure to eliminate houses online so you don't have to see so many in person. Sellers should leave the house while buyers are viewing it, and agents should keep distance from their buyers. If you list your home for sale, be sure your agent provide lots of pictures and preferably a virtual tour such as a video walkthrough, as well as good and detailed property description in the MLS so that someone doesn't come to view the house that, if they were better informed, would have known that it didn't even work for them. In the transaction, be sure to keep a social distance between all involved, such as inspectors, appraisers, lenders, agents, and contractors. In most cases, contact in person can be completely avoided. That's it for this month's Market Wrap. Stay tuned to our channel for real estate news, and coming soon, some education on real estate fundamentals, as well as our neighborhood walk segment, where we show you homes that are for sale by various realtors. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have any video ideas, let us know down in the comments. Thank you for joining us. See you in the market.